In today's video, I will teach you how to create speech bubbles for screenshots in GIMP. Let's get started. Creating speech bubbles for screenshots in GIMP is a fun and practical way to annotate images for blog, tutorials, or presentations. Follow these step-by-step -step instructions to add speech bubbles to your screenshots. Start by opening the screenshot that you want to annotate in GIMP. You can either open an existing image or create a new one by going to File, Create, and Screenshot. Use the text tool to create an annotation text in your preferred size and font. Then ensure that the text is finalized with desired layout and effects before proceeding. Create a new layer and name it Bubble. Set the layer fill type to Transparency. Then using the Rectangle Select tool, draw a rectangle around your text. Optionally, enable rounded corners for a nicer look. Then use the Free Select tool to draw a triangular tail for the speech bubble. Then click on three different spots to shape the tail, ensuring that the first and last spots are inside the bubble. Use the Bucket Fill tool to fill the selected area with a bright color. This color will make the speech bubble stand out from the screenshot. Then apply a drop shadow to the speech bubble by going to Filters, Light and Shadow, then select Drop Shadow. Then adjust the settings as desired to create a subtle shadow effect. Create a new layer named Glow and set it to Transparency. Hold the Control key and click on the bubble layer thumbnail. And once the bubble is selected, switch back to the Glow layer. Then use the Blend or Gradient tool to apply a gradient effect to the selected area. Stroke from the tail to the opposite side of the bubble to create a glowing effect. Then create a subtle outline by shrinking the selection and adding a border. Use the Blend and Gradient tool again to stroke from the top portion of the bubble to create a fading white line. Once you're satisfied with the speech bubble, move the text layer to the top of the layer stack. You can now merge down layers as needed to organize them. Then review the final result and make any necessary adjustments. When you're happy with the speech bubble, you can now save your image. By following these steps, you can easily create speech bubbles for your screenshots in GIMP, adding clarity and visual interest to your annotations. Experiment with different colors, shapes, and effects to customize your speech bubbles to suit your style and preferences. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.